What's going on YouTube? Thanks for stopping by. My name is Michael, also known as Hyrule Dude. Today we're going to be going over how to obtain the Master Sword in Breath of the Wild. Now, along the journey, we can also pick up the Korok Mask, and I'm going to show you a few different ways to navigate through the Lost Woods. So, if you go the wrong way in the Lost Woods, the Koroks will kick you out and make you start from the beginning. Also, to obtain the Master Sword, you need 13 Red Hearts. You can do that by completing a bunch of shrines, of course, beating Divine Beasts, but you need 13 Red Hearts. Hearts. So I'm at the Woodland Tower and we have to go up this path to get to the center of the Lost Woods, which is where we're going to find the awesome, magical, and legendary Master Sword. So let's begin. I'm going to go ahead and paraglide towards the Lost Woods. And as you can see, this is the beginning of the Lost Woods to the left with all of the fog over the like dead trees. It's got like an eerie kind of look going on. Very interesting. So let's head over that way. All right, and we're just going to keep making our way towards the entrance of the Lost Woods. You're going to know you're there when you see these white particles floating through the air. It looks kind of like snow. Now, the beginning of the path for the woods is pretty straightforward. You just go down the path until you see a torch. So let's go ahead and continue walking down here. And right around the bend, we're going to see our first torch. So... Looking at the torch, you can see that the flame is blowing to the right, the ambers are blowing to the right, and even the particles in the air are blowing to the right. That is the indicator of the direction that you need to go. Now you have to pay very close attention to that because if you don't, the Koroks will throw you back to the beginning of the woods if you go out of bounds. So this torch is indicating to continue moving straight. This one is indicating to go left. All right, we're gonna continue going straight to the next torch. This one is saying to go left. And we can see our other torch now. So let's just run towards that torch. And as you can see, there's a torch on the ground that we could use. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Go ahead and light this torch. And if you notice, the flame on the torch is blowing in the same direction that we need to go. So we can use that as a guide. So let's go ahead and get the Korok mask now. It's straight across from where this torch is. Um, so just continue moving straight as seen in the video. And you're going to see these three trees right here, one with a closed mouth right here. And right to the left of that one, you're going to see this tree with an open mouth. This has the expansion past chest that contains the Korok mask. I'm going to drop my torch so it doesn't go out and let's go ahead and retrieve this Korok mask. Now this is really really cool to have because it will alert you when there's a nearby Korok seed. If you didn't know there's actually 900 Korok seeds so this is a very useful thing to have and it's part of the DLC expansion pass. Okay, so now we're going to continue traveling through the Korok forest with no flame. We're just going to use the particles in the air. So the particles in the air right now are directing Link to go straight ahead. So let's go ahead and do that. And just keep a close eye on those particles and you'll be just fine. And soon, if you have a shrine set to your sensor, you're going to hear a beep, and that's going to indicate you're getting closer to the end of the Lost Woods, and finally closer to the Master Sword. Thank you. 
and here is the end of the path. From here, it's just straightforward. You just got to keep going down the path, and the air will clear up, and you will be at the center of the Lost Woods. Here, you're going to find HES2, where you can upgrade your inventory slots, and, of course, the prize possession, which is going to be the Master Sword, and, of course, a visit to the Great Deku Tree. All right, and there she is. She's right there. She's that beautiful, beautiful Master Sword. Let's go ahead and grab that again. You're going to need 13 hearts to remove this Master Sword from its stone. Can Link do it? We just don't know. I mean, is he going to be able to actually pull and retrieve the Master Sword? Nobody knows. Okay, maybe we do know. But let's make pretend we don't know. All right, so Link has successfully obtained the Master Sword. Thank you so much for watching this video, YouTube. You guys rock. May God bless everyone. My name is Mike, also known as Hyrule Dude. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you can get my weekly uploads and weekly streams and giveaway updates and all these cool things. Thank you so much once again. God bless everyone. Cheers.